Move over hit hard. Yeah, but that one's pulling. Hey y'all, just some kayak catfish. Uh, today's video didn't quite go as planned, but it turned out all well in the end. I came out here today hoping to make a flathead video using live baits. Unfortunately, I had two baits or two rods with live baits on them. I had a uh, live gizzard shad on one rod and a live shell cracker on the other. And I've been just kind of parked in this creek that you can see here behind me. It's just a small creek that was here before they flooded all this to make the reservoir that flowed down into the main channel. And it kind of gives these fish a pathway to come up. You know, I don't know when these fish move up to feed and they go back in these creeks and these pockets. I don't know where they're going to go. They could be anywhere. But I know the path they're going to take in and out of this area. And so that's where I've been. I've had my baits in the, what was the old mouth of this creek here. And like I said, I had suspended the live baits under me here and also had one rod with cut bait on it. Thankfully I had that rod with cut bait because that is the only rod that's got action all day long and I've had a lot of action out here. It's been a good day. Here's the action. Fish on. Fish on. The first one. I got Gizzard Chad head as that pleasure poke goes by. I'm gonna hit with the weight from here in a minute. I got a Gizzard Chad head on this one. I got live baits on my others. I got a shell cracker and then a live Gizzard Chad on those two front rods. It's just a dink right here, but it's getting the skunk out. Got my head back too. <laughs> there he is. A little dink blue cat. The skunk buster. Let's get us some more. Fish on. Pull a little bit, Amy. You realize that piece of bait had a hook in it. <laughs> that one bit him back. And I got them two live baits still soaking on the front up there. I, Keep thinking maybe I ought to switch one of them out with a piece of cut bait. I'll probably stick with it a while longer. Alright guys, there he is, a little ornery blue cat. He ate a piece of gizzard shad. I netted some when I first got out here today. Got several in that eight, nine inch range. So like I said, I got a uh, gizzard shad live about eight inches or so on one of my front rods. And then I got a live shell cracker on another. And then I've been using a piece of cut bait, cut gizzard chat off this back rod here. So that's two rods or two fish now with on the uh, cut bait. The other live baits uh, haven't had anything. That one just got hit a minute ago, either that or the fish, uh, my bait just swam really hard and thumped the rod tip. But uh, I'm gonna sit here a while longer. I'm gonna keep giving these live baits a shot before I switch them out put on the uh, cut bait. All my other shad have died. So those two live baits, that's it for me on live baits for the day, just because I don't have anything else. But uh, let me get this bait back down here and we'll see if we can get some more. Right there. There he goes. There he goes. He took off with it. I felt him and then I saw my line moving and there he went. <laughs> swim straight out. Take off again. I don't think this is no whopper, but he feels like he's probably the best one of the day so far. Those other two fish did set the bar pretty low. <laughs> it's the one perk of catching small fish first thing is you got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Fish. Don't flash me. <laughs> now he's gonna go again. <laughs> Do you want to be or not? There we go. Yeah, definitely the best one of the afternoon so far. 
we got, uh, like I said, nowhere to go but up after those first two we got. <laughs> this one was a fun one though, man. I felt him hit it and then my line started to swim off and then he shot straight off there, off to the side. <laughs> Let's let him go. Go get big for me. There you go. Had a body chunk on that last one there. I'm gonna put a head on that one. We'll send it down. I'm just suspending it about two feet, three feet off the bottom. Directly under the kayak here. I'm in this little creek channel. And it dumps off into the main channel here that's behind me. We'll set it there. See if we can get them more. It's that time of year. Let your boats are out. There he goes. There he goes. He wants to fight a little, don't he? He wants to swim with it. first take that rod over you never know what you got it could be a five pounder it could be a hundred pounder you just never know it's always a level of excitement with it the unknown this one's closer to five pounds than a hundred though <laughs> got my bait back we got that little feller <laughs> see you buddy go get big go buddy look at that one pull look at that one pull goodness oh, don't tell me just come off okay there he is there he is I thought he was gone man he nailed it I felt him hit it and then you saw it man just he's still going <laughs> If that don't get you excited, you watching the wrong videos. <laughs> it's definitely a blue. I'm feeling rolling. And oh man, this was on a gizzard shad head again. Those life baits that just have not worked out for me today. If all the action has come on my cut bait rod here. Still ain't lost hope in them yet though. I'm gonna ride it out. Live or die by it as the saying goes. Buddy. Let's bring that known up in here now, why don't we? I'm gonna set him right there. See what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw him on this board while I got it here. Let's just take a peek at him see what we're at he's a fat fish for his size looks like he's a uh, about 36 inches there oh, goodness. About took out the camera with that tail slap <laughs> that's a good fish man only 36 inches but he's fat for his size and strong too you saw the way he took that rod over that's a uh, you know the fun thing Dang series going off on my phone over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the fun thing about suspend fishing. Uh, I mean, I've said it in a lot of videos, but it's just a world of difference in the strength of these fish and the fight when you're suspend fishing and you've got, you know, today I'm in 32 feet of water, so I've got, you know, 29, 30 feet of line out versus when you're typically anchor fishing and you've cast out and you've got 75, 100 yards of line out. So uh, it's just a it's a lot more intense fight and a lot more fun. By far my favorite way to catch them. <laughs> All right, buddy. You were a good time. Let's let him go. See ya. There you go. All right.
another gizzard shad head there. That's what the last one ate, so we'll just put another one on there and drop it right back down. Shad's probably did. I was gonna check that shell cracker and see if he was still alive and if he's not I was gonna cut him using his cut bait. This one's taking off. <laughs> Alright guys there he is. A little blue. Let's let him go. I'll put me another piece of cut shad on that one and I'm gonna check these live baits and cut them too if they're dead. Well surprisingly that shad's still alive barely. He's on his last leg. I'm gonna send him back down. We'll check that blue of that shell cracker next. Something got him. You can see on his tail there been chewed up a little bit and I had that one earlier that I thought was uh, after it there. Something was either making him move or something hit him. I guess something got his tail. Oh, I felt a bump a second ago. I don't know which rod. Oh, it's that one. Oh, there he goes. No, <laughs> I felt rod get hit. He's spinning me, ain't he? I love it when they interrupt my commentary. <laughs> uh, he pulled me right into the sun. He's gonna blind me. That's what that night right there, just a half a gizzard shad. And that's a little better one there. That's a little better. <laughs> interrupted my commentary. Oh, he's angry. Look at him. Well, that's an ornery thing. Let's let him go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop that bait back down and cut that shell cracker in half and drop it back down. And I still got that uh, that gizzard shad. Like I said, he's barely alive, but he's still kicking a little bit, so I put him back down there too. That's another one to hit. That's another one to hit hard. Yeah, but that one's pulling. That one's pulling. That's a better fish right there, y'all. We're getting here right around dusk. The sun's about to set over the horizon there, over the tree line. I got plans tonight. I was hoping to hold out a little while longer just to see if I could get one here right around dark. That's a better fish. This one ate a half a gizzard shad. You hit it hard, man. You could, I could hear it, not just feel it. I could hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it on the camera when they just hit it like that. But this one's pulling. It ain't rolling yet. It may be a flathead. There it goes. This ain't pull drag. Man, oh man, buddy, that's pulling. No, nope, that's a blue. That's a blue cat. I would have swore he was a flathead the way he was acting, but it's a blue. It's pretty good one too. Pretty good fish. Yeah, buddy. That's a good fish. Oh, about lost him. About lost him. Before I can get hold of him now. Let's bring him on in. Let's bring him on in. Ditch the hook. I'm gonna put him on this board first thing here again. Get a length on him.
rolling down there. It was solid fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, like I said, I got plans tonight. I got to get out of here, unfortunately, but I was wanting to stick around here. As you can see, the sun behind me starting to go over the tree line. I was wanting to just get up, stay out here as long as I could, and try to get one more. So I'm going to let this fish go, and then I'm going to film an intro for this video. And uh, that's the power of magic of video editing. I can do the intro at the end. But uh, fun day, man. It's been a fun day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's let this fella go home here. Bye, buddy. See you next time, Mr. Blue Cat. I'll see you all next time, too. Thanks for watching.